Hey, cut it. Hey, this is STS here. That was a uh, annoying Zach playing the guitar, the acoustic guitar, playing play some Steve Austin, and he learns it from. Where do you learn it from? You don't learn it from the tabs. You learn it from hearing it, right? Alert, I'm hearing. Yeah, that's something smart. But uh, all right, cut it out. All right, well, this is the End of Zone Wrestling Podcast. This is episode seventeen. I think we see on here. I think it is. I don't know, it's episode 17 or what, whatever it is, I'll post it on the, the YouTube, it'll be on there, and, uh, but, uh, what's been going on, I don't know, STS, and who's that right there? Just, Annoying like, Zach. Annoying Zach, Sparky, okay, that's what we're gonna say, Annoying Zach, okay, Sparky, uh, but, it's a day after, uh, day after, uh, what's, well, that's the first thing to talk about, Duty 2K16, which I got in my hand, which we can talk about real quick. Oh. I was, my... A lot of people were <laughs> texting me saying, why aren't you down over here over at GameStop here at Marion? And I'm like, I don't have the money. To, yeah. The money to spend. I mean, but I, I went I there. I love that new smell in games. I know. I mean, uh, I, went, I went there early. I went there at 1030 and I got the game. And uh, well, wait, you know, the people at Halo, too. Oh, I can't stand I it. I love Halo. I know, but I don't care for Halo. I watched them play it, though. It was pretty awesome, though. The graphics, gameplay. Yeah, they was all right, but... I was telling people, you know, I was like, I can't wait to get a PS4 because I'm dumb for Xbox or shit whenever I can. But, uh, yeah, I got the game, though. I got me, I won a po well, actually, they had a raffle tickets. They won posters, and they had other ones, too, and, um, or Halo and stuff, but they didn't even give me a raffle ticket. So I was kind of pissed off because I, like, I saw they had one poster there now in, on their wall. I mean, what they're going to do? That's, the game's over. What they take the poster up? But then they get a raffle ticket. But Matt, uh, we got the goatee of Spike Terry. He's the, he was there. He's like, and then I asked me, everybody got. He's their, a pretty cool guy. Yeah, he's I cool. like him. He's cool. Um, he's honest when it comes to. Me and him on purchases. a long vacation when I was drunk one time. I was there, but uh, he called at the very last moment, you know, because I told him, you know, and so he was like, "Who came for duty to be?" I raised my hand. Yeah, you know I me. Mean? He gave me this uh, a side try uh, folds into like it's huge. It's a dude who gave sixteen with Steve Austin on it, so I was happy. Yeah. So I got that. I got the game, and the game ain't that bad. You know, I'm, I'm I'm in the campaign. Well, I'm playing the showcase mode with Steve Austin. It's awesome. The graphics, yeah, it's Xbox 360 graphic, but it's good. You know, it's better than 2K15, in my opinion. And how many people were there last night? Well, mostly I was like. Maybe like two or four or five people was there just to get 360. I saw one guy got 360 uh, 2K16. Mostly it was just Halo. My friend Randy was there. Randy Lloyd. He got Halo Legends, the special edition, and the Xbox One version. Or I think I don't know what which one he did. Yeah, Xbox One of, uh, of the uh, game of 2K16. But it was great. You know, I enjoyed it and stuff. And uh, I, I like it. The showcase mode. You know, you, it's basically it's all Steve Austin matches. You start from King of the Ring with Jake the Snake and. Then uh, there's some bonus matches in the timeline, like I was just doing Stunning Sea Balls versus Ricky Steamboat, which I liked. But in the showcase mode, I play I play in easy mode. We go. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. On the every time when I get the new showcase game or the like a new wrestling game, I go for the campaign, whatever store case first, and I play it in easy because I just want to get everybody unlocked because. There's like 25 wrestlers you still got in lock, like British Bulldog and Vader and all this. And, uh, it feels like it's there's no one heart. Really. There's no one heart, which is stupid. There's damn no you, oh, damn you, Martha Hart. Damn you. Jeez, man, because it's stupid. But it, 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 I it, am not a nugget. I'm a black heart, damn it. <laughs> but, um,. I don't know. I, I won, uh, but it's it's awesome. It's great. I played it easy because I want to get over with. But I actually played the first match. Oh, I actually took an hour and a half. I didn't go to bed till three because I was m making my guy, and I just make it simple as hell. And then I'm, the moves are just extraordinary. I love the new moves. Most of, well, me and Zach. Is stomp on there? Yes, new one. Sweet. And uh, I'm gonna be showing him the moves a lot, and he's probably gonna play a match or two. And uh, but. Uh, I played the uh, my first match ever in 2K16 because 15 it, it it still reminds me of 2K15 away, but I was the final the final two and the sixth man and I got beat by yours truly Stone Cold Steve Austin so it was a back and forth fight and I tried to give him the uh, the Impala which I call the uh, D the lifting arm DDT they have a second they have a new one which oh, and also when the new moves come out whatever it, it's AKA Bloody Sunday but what the hell does he want? Yeah. Yeah, 
That's why. I was, it was my friend's dad. It was crazy. Chris's dad was talking about, uh, he was talking about Xbox One and PS4, like comparison. I think he's going to get a PS4 or something. Who knows? He knows his stuff about gaming. Yeah, he's, he's a PC Because I, I, I know I can come to him about PC gaming. And oh, yeah, I just that. shout out to Chris's dad. I think he listens to this too. So shout out to Mr. <laughs> Timothy Ryder. Hope you get a PS4. I know I will whenever I can. Just... It's three nineteen for a used, and then three forty nine for. A new. I'd rather get a new one. Yeah, I know it's like forty nine. But I'm gonna start. I don't know when. Whenever I start getting a job lead it comes in, I'm gonna start saving up. But enough of that. And also, I've been kind of down lately. I've been uh, a bunch of personal problems with me and my family, my sister, over some false bullshit. People say I'm a moocher. You know, mooch with my grandmother. Like, no, I do not. My grandma asks for. She gives me gas money to come up there. Or whatnot, you know, and it pisses me off. But I didn't want to be involved with that crap. And I think let's just get out of this way and let's do some ICW talk. And it's time for the ICW talk. Is he talk about the ICW. Yes. <laughs> ICW Pro Talk right here. Uh, December, November, coming up on November 7th. And what we just saw on the uh, Facebook page of their thing, which... Uh, I want. I wonder who did this. Who I wonder who did this photoshopping? Because I mean, that's pretty good. I don't know. I don't know if it's Mr. B did it or it's someone over there. Which it's okay, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, it's I all like right. it. But uh, with the first match, they put some matches out that uh, what's going to happen. Which I I agree. I commented on there. You know, you can see me. What the? F oh, it's on Jesus's. But uh, <laughs> it's on his, it's on Jesus's, Jesus's page. Jesus, Jesus. Well, the first match we got here, we know so far. We'll talk about is Tygon versus El Gabio. Now, Tygon, I've heard, I've seen him before in Double ACW, and also he was one of the guys who joined up to uh, beat the hell out of Troy Miller and Lynx King. Is he part of already the Gut Kidwell's Big Mac sandwich? I don't know. Big Mac. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But t I heard about Tiger. Well, well, we, we actually got a picture with him after the show last last month, and I've heard this guy is a very stiff man. Not that way. <laughs> no, Pause. He, yeah, no, no, he's a, um, no, he's like a real. Like, I'm, I think he wrestles strong style. So, El G what what is this for here? I mean, El Gavion's from Mexican Connection, which I really don't care about Mexican mm -hmm. Connection. What is your pick for this? I mean, so I think it. Because I really like La Raza. That's not La Raza. Oh, oh, That's Mexican bad. Connection. My, my Man, bad. Mastermind Page is going to go off on you now. On Sorry. This Sorry. It's like you put that involved with La Raza. Sorry. Um, my head spot. I'll give you on. Yeah, I'll give you on. And then we've got this match Justin Rocks, which I'm supposed to have Justin Rock. Justin Rocks, just Justin or. <laughs> we'll probably troll him. Anarchy from the Extreme Wrestling Federation days from. The old Rain Tree Plaza to the uh, uh, the building across the street from Thompson used to be, or now Cafe Valley up there. He'll be facing Lone Wolf Owens, who is AKA Joey Owens. It's been years since I've seen Justin Rock yeah. and EWF. Yeah. I remember going to a few EWF shows. Him and uh, shows. Phoenix were a tag team, and uh, I used to feel. But, yep. uh, but he's facing Lone Wolf Owens, which this guy right here is already, uh, he's already into be a, uh, I think. Sorry if I get this wrong. Uh, I think he's a he's an NWA Circle City uh, light heavyweight champion or something like that. I don't know, but he's awesome. That's Joey Owens' boy right there, by the way, the chairman, the chairman. That's his boy. Uh, awesome wrestler. This is gonna be real tough because I like both of these competitors here. Uh, Justin for the nostalgia part to see him wrestle. Yeah. That's and like Lone Wolf. Uh, Lone Wolf is the underdog. Mm -hmm. What's your pick? I don't I, know. I, 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 I put either. I like both of them. I like both of them too. So. so. Because Lone, Lone Owens has a externally future up ahead of toward him. Oh, he's already champion. I'm going to... Ah, damn, I forgot. Pause. Never mind. But, uh... I had that thought in my head. But, uh... Yeah, he's... he's This guy has an Australian future. But then you have... He's against a, a veteran here in the game of indie wrestling, you know. Uh, Justin Rocks or Just Justin or Anarchy. Which you can't say. That's his old gimmick. <laughs> so I don't care. There's something, to, there's something we should eat cooking. Yeah. Oh yeah, by the way, Zach, and no one's Zach, I'm going to sit in your seat for a moment. I'm in the hot seat right now. Uh, no one's Zach is cooking, by the way. So he's, Ribs! Ribs! <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's going to be pretty good. I can't wait to, uh, this will be a good match here, I think. Uh, I don't care. I mean, whoever wins, wins. 
But uh, yeah, that's the only two matches we've got so far. Um, uh, yeah, Hoover 2 Guerrero is still not there, which is kind of bullshit. Sorry, because, I mean, how is this, how does an indie fed like this survive without a champion here? I mean, the only thing that's going to be here it, where it, is this show is Troy Miller. I mean, what are they going to do with him? What are they going to do with Lynx King? With the, is there going to be a match between La Raza? Because, I mean, they're one half of the big team that, that screwed him over. Yeah. Because of, uh, he's, they're part of the Artie, uh, Artie the Gut Kidwell's uh, Happy Meal team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do your, so. do your, uh, what? With Fly Lab. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, that's what's going to happen. They, they got to watch out for the, for the Happy Meal. Well, the Happy Meals are come down with their toys. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, but on the whole, but, <laughs> but I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, I still don't care. I don't know about this. I don't, what's this whole Hooper 2 Guerrero? How is this, how, how does this uh, the, keep the company erupt? I mean, what is this? What's your I, thoughts about, I mean, with that I being there? What, he's, he's their, their rip, he's their Brock Lesnar. He's he's like, he's I respect the juice because I was, I like how I, he's, I respect him a lot, but. He's my control. As a fan of ICW, you have to admit that there has to be a champion defending it every month. I'm yeah, sorry. Yeah, it's only one month a show. I mean, if it was two month, two shows a month, yeah. But. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to say this, Juice, but man, I respect you. I love your character. I love your gimmick. But I wish you would have aimed last month, man. Yeah, I mean, but he's been he's uh, he was seen on Instagram and all that crap. He's been showing the belt around, but okay. He, I think he's been defending. How do you defend now? Oh, I want your, I want whatever belt that is. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but um, I wonder if he's gonna go to Insane Championship Wrestling with that. Oh, well, that's our, that's our damn uh, fed. No, because it's ICW Pro here, but it don't say ICW Pro in the title. But uh, uh, other than that, I'm, I'm really, I'm excited for the show. I, it's uh, next Saturday. You don't want to miss it. You want tickets? Eight dollars at the. Lances, and then if you ask them for wrestling tickets, I don't know we sold any. Every time I go over there, I don't know we sold any of these tickets before. And I just yeah, I'm sorry. Every time, cause I got chewed out by a, by a woman out. over at Lances, cause I called and asked him if they still have any wrestling tickets. Like, no, we win air wrestling tickets, and then she just slammed the phone down in my ear. I'm like, well, well fuck you, bitch. Yep, and there'll be some f bombs here. Sorry, this is the podcast. <laughs> I don't care, uh, but. Uh, I'm excited for it, uh, but I'm not excited for Bobo to be there. I mean, that's slow. I mean, that's gonna be the the piss match of the night, whatever he's in. I know me and you were we 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 had opinions about him because he, he liked the older wrestlers and respect. Yeah, him, but I like. Legends. I get bored as hell watching him. So, you're gonna, you're gonna take a picture with him like you took a picture of the Bruiser. Yeah. With Dick the Bruiser, son-in-law, Junior. I asked Dick if he could be able to do, like, I got a picture on my Facebook with me and I know. Dick the Bruiser and, uh... Your face. My, with my face acting all freaked out. I was like, can we do that? He was like, sure, and got that picture, and I thought it was funny and amusing. But, uh, is there anything... Oh, we got this... Celine Gray, I can't see what she's going to be wearing. <laughs> see what she's going to be wearing at time. Cleavage, probably. Show it off. But, oh, no, Roz is going to be here. Chad Duccio. That little prick. He. What's gonna happen to him and the prophet? His, his, his. Rick Craig, the prophet, which is the most stupidest thing. I come out with the angry McCracken two couple months ago. Now I come out with a stick. <laughs> stick. He's Gandalf. <laughs> no, I like Gandalf he's, for more no, than three. He's, Cra he's Craig off. Craig off. Craig off. Craig, 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 off. Craig, Craig <laughs> off. But uh. I don't know. Um. Uh, but uh. What's this? I think we're done with the ICW mm -hmm. talk for right now, and next week will be the last week before uh, Saturday, so we'll probably talk about more about the stuff. There are probably more matches maybe on the site, I mean, on the, on the Facebook, um, and we'll talk about that, and we'll... By the way, I, I, I want to add, expect to sign with a certain tag team, tag team's uh, section going to be there Saturday. What are you talking about? I'm making a section for... a. Team. What team? Was that, was some team in, uh, it's it's a surprise. Okay, all it's right. a surprise. It's not ours. It's not this, right? Mm -hmm. okay, it's good. not the all NWO. Right. It's yeah, a, do your it's own a surprise. You guys should do a sign, but how big though? I mean, you gotta get some poster board or something for that. Okay, all right. Well, you have it for the annoying Zach, and uh, 
done with the ICW talk. Let's go on something else. Hey, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm back. Oh, and we're both back. Sorry, this podcast is going out of the water. But uh, right now I'm going to talk about the whole... This Sunday, coming up, the first Circle City Wrestling. Ooh, Gold Rush. Which people, you know, uh, you know my feelings on this. I talked about before. Excuse me. I think your food's done, yep. by the way. Ribs! <laughs> Ribs. Ribs has a cameo in the CZW spot. But, uh, yeah. Um, Ribs! 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 Oh, he's crazy. He's annoying, isn't he? I can't, I can't stop him. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, um, that, that's coming up. I still am going to be helping out with... Uh, What's up, Mike? Mike's there. And Owen's ex-roommate. Um, but um, we're going to... I'm still going to be helping out with security. With T. Wilkos. You know, it's... Yep, Wilkos! It's going to be great. Um, but, yeah, I'm kind of nervous still and whatnot, though. But he said it'd be, it's, it's no problem. Just listen to me now and... And, uh, yeah, I'm uh, excited. You know, I like to meet, hope to get to see wrestlers. Like, hey, hi, my name's uh, I'm an uh, I'm an unknown guy from uh, I'm just a hardcore diehard Mark fan, whatever you want to call me. And uh, hi, you know, <laughs> what? Now it'd be cool to take a picture with somebody, but I'm not gonna bother these guys much because I'm gonna have to have to listen to what the hell's going on. I hope the Lord is I'm not gonna be involved. I mean, or just be in the front. I hope because it's my first time doing this. I mean, I should be at the very back of the line. You know, as the security and whatnot, I should be in the very back. I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not one of those people who like to just get, oh, I'm, a, I'm in the door. I want to be front. I want to be front and center with T. Wilkos in the front of the ring. Um, like, no, I'm not all about that. I'm, I'm a guy who starts from the bottom and, and whatever. So, I mean, I'm excited for it. Yes, I'm very excited for it. And, um, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just, just like I said, I'm, I don't know what to say. I mean, excited and... The only thing is, though, I mean, if there's going to be con- confrontation, I don't give a damn. I'm not going to worry about confrontation, you know. I'm a wrestling fan. Hell, the, the other CZW rants, they got a couple, they got a bunch of views on there. and But that's my opinion, you know. You don't have to disagree with me. I had my own opinion. It's This is my show. I just I do my videos. People can say I'm bitter. People can say, oh, he's the hurt. No, you, you dumbasses gave me retarded-ass seats. If it was only, if this was third fourth level, I wouldn't mind. But no, but here I am. I don't. I'm not going to. Show. I still got those four tickets, and I'm not burning the damn things up. I'm probably gonna have them on. Uh, I'm probably gonna bring them with me and just give them some. Here, here's some tickets. I mean, they're free. I mean, if you don't want them, oh well. I mean, they're right here. Four tickets. If I still have them, still. I think my wife didn't. She put them up somewhere. But uh, but also again, shout out to uh, T Wilkos. He knows who he is. He listens to the podcast. Um, shout out to him. I can't wait. I'm excited. And we'll see you then. You hear this slow motion Monday Night Raw tonight's the night. It is time for the Monday Night Review, which I hardly ever. I only saw a part of this show, but we're going to talk about it. And I had the results regardless because I was too excited for the W2K16 game. So this review is probably going to be stale, and we don't give a damn. I don't give a shit. Excuse me. Yeah. Sorry, but um, let's get on with this review here. We got the gallery. Oh, not the gallery, but I mean, this is where I'm going on. All right. What all starts out with uh, Triple H comes out. They have this segment with uh, Steph McMahon, and uh, they talk about um, oh, uh, oh, Berto Del Rio beat John Cena for the United States title, and Hunter spoke to how Hell in a Cell features the emergence of the next generation superstars, and then here comes Seth Rollins. No one gives a ass. I mean, here's my, my reason on Seth Rollins. I mean, he's a great wrestler, but 
the way they, they've been booking him, they book him as a load of turds, and he's just stupid. I think the match with, the, the match with uh, Kane was just god-awful. And if you want to check out the Hell in a Cell review, it is on youtube.com slash mdreams, or just go on YouTube and search Sam the Slam and click on the Hell in a Cell 2015 drunk review. Now, I know Zach wasn't drunk, but me and my buddy Timmy, a.k.a. Ash, was drunk. I was hyper. Fuck. Yeah, so two drunk people plus a hyper, hyper man, so... Uh, but they go out there and yada 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 like oh we don't know who you're gonna face next uh, Seth, oh, and then Roman Reigns comes out. Which you know what I'm at the point where I don't really care if he wins if he like is gonna be the champion soon. I wish him as a heel. Maybe be one of those. We need a badass heel, not something like that was Lesnar. You know he wasn't run away from chicken shit. You know, but um, he ended up coming out and you know that's gonna be my I'm gonna be the next number one contender. I'm going to go for that title and have some hot dogs. Never mind, there's human DNA in them, supposedly. But, uh, yeah, we'll just get that out of the way. So, it's basically, Triple H said there's going to be four matches, four single matches. And whoever wins those four matches, single matches, will get head on to the Fatal 4-Way at the main event of tonight's show. And whoever wins that is the number one contender. So, the first match is Roman Reigns. And here comes Kofi Kingston clapping his hands with uh, Big E. Shaking his hips like it's Don't a. Don't be sour! Feel the power! That's positivity! It's a new day, yes it is. <laughs> but uh, Roman Reigns. I, I, I like one of the spots. I like when uh, Roman Reigns kept hitting uh, Kofi, and Kofi just got so pissed off. He, he took his anger on JBL's hat and made it flung across. I wish it flung across the fans like a frisbee. <laughs> but uh, Roman Reigns beat Kofi Wings. Kings. Yeah, Roman Waynes because drunk. I remember Roman Wa- <laughs> Roman Waynes beats Kofi Kingston in twelve forty five to advance. Then we had the second match, which was for the qualifying match, it was Cesaro versus Kevin Owens. Cesaro was great in this match. He's awesome. He's always been great and awesome. But Kevin Owens, yeah, the swing. But Kevin Owens too, one of the best deals we got and an awesome uh, individual. And I hope I can't wait to him be the champion in the future days. But uh, who do you think won that match, Zach? I haven't seen Raw. So. I know. I'm just asking the pr- this prediction. Who do you think won, um, Cesaro or Kevin Owens for the uh, for the Fatal Four Way? Um, Cesaro. Nope, Cesaro lost. Cool. Kevin Owens beat him with the pop up power. But I thought uh, Stardust would interfere. You know, the whole Stardust section. He wasn't on there. So why does that make any sense? Okay. That was as stupid as hell they put on there. Then we have. Uh, they had a backstage segment because with Char- with Paige and uh, and like and then like pa- Charlotte and all them like oh we'll let you be in our team because they're facing Team Bad. Where the hell's Team Bad at? They keep jobbing them out. Yeah. I, I mean I don't care from Naomi. I don't care about Tamina. I'm all about Sasha Banks. Enough of these ass with Tamina and all them. Whatever. I don't care. Jeez, give me a break. But they uh, Ch- Charlotte and Becky Lynch let Paige be in the team and. Um, what the heck? Oh, and then Cole read the tweet that some suspected was a sign that Nikki was taking time away. So she's going to take time with her man. I'm Nikki Bella. I fuck Dino's cock. <laughs> <laughs> so she's going to have time with that. And then plus I have he, a little water coming out of my nose. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but Nikki Bella gave her the rack attack and then at the end, Paige ended up attacking uh, Charlotte and Becky Lynch. She still gets good crowd elevation. She's a tweener. I mean, I like Paige, and she she's cool as hell. I mean, she's a good tweener. Don't give us a it's my ho- this is my house now. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be Don Tony, but uh, that, but Bella Twins win. No one cared. I think I was taking a pee. Then we have uh, what is this right here? They talk about the whole Lesnar Taker thing and whatnot, and and, and then they ha- then the next qualifying match was Alberto Del Rio versus Neville, which this is the match where I was like, you know, I'm leaving. This is when I left to GameStop, and uh, it was uh, Neville versus Alberto Del Rio for the head the Fatal Four. Who do you think won? Alberto. Yep, Alberto Del Rio won. He beat Neville in. 12 We're minutes. We're not going to screw him over yeah. the first night he has the title. Yeah, and that. then the 12 minutes. And then we had the next match was Ryback and the Duggar Boys versus Roots of Sheamus and King Barrett. Didn't care. Who do you think won this match? Dudley's. No. What? Yeah, they didn't. 
They're freaking burying them every week. Uh, Barrett rolled up Bubba to pin him, so. And then we had the, this is also, this is courtesy of Roger.com because I wasn't there for the, I didn't have my notes. Right here we have Bray White sets in his rocking chair in the mid-ring. He said, Taker walked among the darkness and the light. He said, Taker had no equal and grown men tremble at the sound of his name. White said that the apocalypse showed its face. White said last night was war and he wants to make something clear tonight. He said they will dance again one day once he's properly revitalized. He said Undertaker has become his, his re resurrection. White said fans can't understand but once you've tasted the type of power it consumes you. White said he's, f he's feasting on the soul of Taker and he wants and needs more. White said uh, Taker's soul is being ripped in the shreds right now. He asked the fans in the arena to buy their heads and at the fans at home to place their hands on their television sets. He asked him to all share a moment of silence for the man who lost his soul to him. Rest in peace, Phenom, White concluded. Kane's pyre shot off and he applied to the ring. White remained seated and helped, held up his hand. The white video show flashed. When the pitcher returned, White seated in the corner and he had the rest of the White family stand in the ring apron. Kane took out Luke Harper. Eric Strowman did three punches at Braun Strowman. Kane was able to get Strowman to ringside been faced off with Wyatt. Kane got him by the throat, but released it to released it to grab Harper and Rowan. Strowman stuck Kane from behind. Harper and Rowan double chokes him Kane. The fans changed for Undertaker as the Whites ripped him up. The Whites picked up Kane and carried him out as they did Taker before night oh, before. Shit. A shot aired the Whites dragging Kane to a smoking area backstage where they sing. He's got the whole war in his hand. So this looks like they're gonna have maybe a maybe a uh, new ministry. Well, they're being like a new ministry way, mm -hmm. you know, and then. And they're are they going to do a a elimination match or is this going to be just Kane, the Brothers of Destruction against them? Mm -hmm. And if you well they they've been having some live events in Mexico just recently, a couple of days after before uh, Hell in a Cell and they're in Mexico and they had the matches against them. Wasn't that on the WWE Network? Yeah, why can't yeah? What's up with that? WWE should have put. You had Brock Lesnar on the WWE Network for his tour, but no. Why could they put? You could put that match on their WWE. Yeah, why could they put more house shows? I mean, no, I mean, it's whatever. Who cares? I mean, it's stupid. Uh, but then we got the next uh, uh the the third match of the Fatal Four Way qualifying: Biggie versus Dolph Ziggler. Who do you think won this one? Um, I won't go with Biggie. Nope, Dolph Ziggler. Huh? Dolph Ziggler beat Biggie thirteen minutes. Let's see how he won though. He won by a. Ah, he avoided the corner. No one interfered that match, which I'm very surprised. And then Tyler Breeze and Summer were at ringside in this VIP section earlier on. Give Breeze a chance. I love Tyler Breeze. <laughs> I've been playing. I've been playing his song on the uh, X on the uh, 2K16. But uh, give Breeze a chance. Then we got another give stupid. Then we have another uh, moment of season G Komen, which don't care. You know us thoughts about it. Well, backstage, Miz has been playing, uh, he's been, they were promoting W2K16, and he's playing the Steve Austin thing, and oh no, here comes Steve Austin, who's backstage, who, uh, which I think was, uh, I think was taped, I think, from last week yeah. or something, but, uh, Steve Austin showed up and intimidated Miz before getting him to pin the release of the game tomorrow, supposedly. Then we have the last match, which was the Fatal 4 with Roman Reigns versus Kevin Owens, Butter DeVito versus Dolph Ziggler. So I'm going to say that what all happened here, remember, this is courtesy of, uh, of Raja.com because I didn't know what the hell was going on. So I'll read you everything. Ring interested with the main event take place. Seth Rollins said in the commentary, cool hype that The Miz will be on ESPN Sports Center with John Coach Bernard. Why? Why? The Miz sucks. The Miz will be better as a manager, in my opinion. Uh, Ziggler tagged Reigns with a super kick at the ringside hand to the break. Following a bunch of false finishes with many of the guys' finishing moves being executed for close pinfall attempts, the fans in San Diego would set up the bout with, let me know, if this is awesome chance, like always. We get another uh, series of each guy trying to finish until they finally hit, finally Reigns hits the drive-by on Del Rio and then blocks a pop-up powerbomb attempt from Owens. He had a Superman punch on him and a spear for the 1-2-3, so he speared uh, Owens. Reigns is the new memorable contender to W title. After the match, Rollins rents on the commentary as Reigns walks over to him. Two stare off each other until Reigns pats Rollins on the back and walks off on the smirk on his face. So, at the end of the day, there is, there he is. I mean, it, but people say he's not ready still, and there's rumors that Ambrose will be Interfering and being healed, which Ambrose is a good heel. I think I think he should be the one that went heel first, and then Seth right. Rollins be the good guy. But um, there's rumors about that. But I don't care if he goes if it, uh, heel on Reigns. I could care less. I like him anyway. 
But that is your Monday Night Raw review. And now we're going to head off to head the headlines, we call it, where uh, Zach's going to read off some stuff in a little bit, so we'll see you in a second. And here is Annoying Zach with headlines. WWE breaking news, breaking ground update, fans on the Roman Empire, John Cena versus The Rock special. What the hell is this? What? What is this about? Breaking ground updates. Oh, Breaking Ground? Yeah. Oh, that's that new show. Yeah. Breaking, go on. There's a new updates going on with WWE Breaking Ground. We'll air a new episode on the WWE Network every Monday night after every Monday Night Raw goes off the air. And a correction from earlier, the episodes are running 30 minutes, not one hour. There was a WWE Network schedule mix-up that has yeah, been corrected. It's bull. After the announcement of Zeb Coulter and the WWE United States Champion Alberto Del Rio's new Mix America stable, WWE's website has a new poll asking fans which nation would they rather join, Mex America, the Cesaro section, the C-Nation, or the Roman Empire, with over 70,000 votes casted, which we know all these votes are rigged, so votes are uh, 36% for the Roman Empire, Cena Nation, and the Cesaro section are both tied at 25%. A new episode of WWE Rivalries will debut on the WWE Network today featuring John Cena and The Rock. Once in a lifetime ended up becoming twice in a lifetime, so I didn't understand that. Um, I haven't checked it out yet, though. It's on the network, dog. We'll check it out later yeah. tonight. We look. <coughs> Once in a lifetime superstars... Engage in a polarizing rivalry and develop respect for one another and while headlining consecutive WrestleManias. What is that? What are you, is you still talking about the same thing? Yeah. Oh, so you keep on heading on. Like you keep pausing. I thought you were talking about something else. Okay. Is that one of them? That's one of them. So that's basically for, he's basically talking about the breaking ground, which is the basically the real world. What's the, about the whole NXT thing? What's From WrestlingInc.com. Oh, what else we got? What we got? Um, he didn't even do it right. He's never did his homework, ladies and gentlemen, so... I think I may have to check out some stuff here, so... We never come prepared. This is oh, this is a shoot right here. It's, no, it's, it's shoot. This it's is all no, shoot. We're not... We're, what's that? We're not rehearsed. We're not... We didn't rehearse in time, so this was, like, unexpected. I got my days mixed up, too, so... Yeah, we got, uh, the Usos have been working out in the ring at the WWE Performance Center for the last week and we're expecting the return of the WWE Television in the near future. Jay Uso has been talking about has been out action with a shoulder injury since the spring, so that's okay. Uh, uh, right back, if you check out podcast1.com, uh, he's going to be on the Family Friendly uh, edition of the show, which I think was today, I believe. The uh, Steve Austin yeah, show. Yeah, the Steve Austin show. It says uh, right back has a great conversation with Steve Austin just before his Hell in a Cell match for Sunday. They talked about growing up in Vegas, playing high school football and baseball, where Ryback is the guy to replace John Cena when the time comes. No, I don't think that's, that's, you know. Ryback's workout philosophy and strategy, why he doesn't believe in cheat days when it comes to diet, what the secret did for his progress and career, how Arnold Schwarzenegger motivated him back to the ring, and his tough enough experience. You also hear about Ryback's relationship with Vince McMahon, why he prefers to travel solo, and how he continues to improve his own ring performance. And we have, there we announced a match between NXT, Finn Bauer, and Sheamus for the November 4th stop in Dublin, Ireland, during their European tour. So, there's one highlight, so. Will we see William Regal? Hopefully. Yeah. That'd be cool. Yeah. I want to see William Regal again. There's, there's a tag on the Young Bucks teasing that they have signed it. A, a, what the heck is this? It says uh, that Matt, Nick and Matt Johnson of the Young Bucks are teasing that they have signed with a major promotion and will be making the uh, official announcement soon. And uh, I think it's very, um, I think it's Lucha Underground. You know, it's either Young Bucks, it says WWE, NXT, Lucha Underground, ROH, TNA, New Japan. But, I mean, they are in New Japan. They are in uh, ROH. I don't think they would ever go to TNA. I think it's Lucha Underground. Okay. I don't think they need to go to NXT or anything now because they're, they're, they'll get 
they they can't do their super kick parties anymore. Uh -oh. But I, yeah, I think that's pretty cool in a way. Uh, what else do we have here? Uh, oh yeah, Naomi. Naomi, which I don't give a hell about from Team Bad. Naomi frustrated with the lack of person there to be. It's a. Uh, Naomi has been retweeting a lot of messages from fans who are disgruntled with her lack of push, and the way WWE has dropped the ball with Team Bad, which I, I agree. Despite laying the Divas version that's focused mainly on Team Bad at PCB with Naomi, Sasha Banks, and Tammy Lost in the Shuffle. Here are some of the tweets Naomi retweeted. There's a, a, she tweeted something that has a, a Barack Obama that says it's not okay and has to stop. And she tags uh, on her Facebook or on her Twitter, when created to be sleeping on, she tags Sasha Banks, Naomi, Tamina... Who is these people? Oh, she retweeted these people. Kathleen Owens like, I wonder where the fuck you're doing when creator hasn't given Team Bad TV time or a story. Then some other chick says, still waiting for Naomi to have her chance at the title and win it and make it the woman's title again. And then some other person named Yash Kavada says, Paige turns on Charlotte and Becky again and wrong. Meanwhile, Team Bad, nowhere to be seen. And there's one with the... Meanwhile? There's, been one, there's one with the skeleton... It's waiting wild? for Naomi to become a, a Divas champion again. We need to get Brady to make a miss, missing uh, he team. He can't do a lot. You want him to make <laughs> this? You want to make him that? Man, he can't. He has his own family life to do with. <laughs> but uh, I don't really care for Naomi. I mean, you can put her... I mean, she's. if you want her to put the bell or anything, I don't really give a damn. It's she. Don't, when the Divas are on, I don't care. I'm not worried about it, you know, but... There hasn't been competition. Like yeah, there yeah, been and there's just been some blame. And I, don't, I just don't get... No, and I was tired last night, and I've been taking these ADHD pills, which are making me feel like a damn zombie. But, uh, uh, yeah. He's been, he's been turned to a damn gigantic rib. <laughs> ribs! 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 Yeah, there ribs. he goes again. <laughs> but I don't know, I, I think we're out of here, because we're getting tired, and he wants to do a simple review... With Freddy's Revenge. I mean, I'm shoot too. So, I'm STS. Annoying Zach. Annoying Zach. And this is In The Zone Wrestling Podcast. Check out Marion Word Order. Uh, Facebook.com slash Marion Word Order. Or search Marion Word Order. With, uh, the community. Not NWO Games. Marion Word Order slash NWO. Or check out my YouTube. www.com slash YouTube. Or YouTube.com slash MDreams. Or search Sam to Slam on YouTube. I should be the first channel up besides the videos with my son when he was little which I have not changed it yet which I should change it with my son and as he's older now he's a two year old that's when he was only like a couple months old and I hope you guys enjoyed this 37 minutes long and I'll have this posted up soon so or I mean well it'll be it'll be upload tomorrow anyway because this is Tuesday I do record on Tuesday nights and I upload on Wednesdays because I ready to just do that just to have it done and ready on the shelf and uh, but thank you guys again for listening. If you guys, if people even do listen to this, yeah, this one wasn't kind of rehearsed or anything. It's just out of the blue, and uh, I'm just really excited about playing W2K16. And uh, and my my personal my my personal troubles. I mean, I'm de dealing with a lot with my sister, and uh, it's it's depressing, you know. But me and my sister's never really been that close. But I just hate it when someone some person puts some false shit in my mouth that I've never said. And I'm not a mood chair at all, no. My grandmother, it's just, and those are things too, when people say this stuff to you, and they're never there, they're never there, you know. My sister's just like us, you know, we have depression that leads to everything, you know, and it's different. But enough of that, because that's for me to talk about my pay, my face, my YouTube. So sorry if I've been staggering along, stuttering and whatnot, but I hope you guys enjoyed the wrestling portion of this. I hope you guys enjoy it. In the wrestling, in the zone wrestling podcast, and we'll see you later for next week, which is going to be the go home podcast show for November, oh, December in November, and I will probably talk about how my trip was at uh, Circle City Wrestling as security, if it went well, if something happened or whatnot. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.